Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel if you're brand new, if you haven't already please smash that subscribe button, it helps that channel so much and if you haven't already please go back and watch my other episodes I have done quite a bit of this so far and I am absolutely really am enjoying this game loving it, the graphics look amazing, the story to it is phenomenal and if you haven't already the Oh, please just help out the channel so much, please really does help. It's free to subscribe. I'm not asking you to pay money or anything. So yeah. In the last episode we met two new professors, got a little bit more of locations for like fast travel now, so now we're gonna go see Matty at the ground. I'm guessing so let's just not that I wanted. Take me there. There's going to be a lot of running around, I tell ya. Once I get a broomstick or creature or whatever, that's it, I am flying everywhere. That is just going to be so much more useful than just running around. I don't know what's going to come in handy. Don't know how my character's still running, I've been dead ages ago with running. Is that a hot air balloon that I just saw? Oh yeah, it's like Quidditch <coughs> stuff I think, and I think that's where we're going. Don't know, see what happens now. Oh yeah, who's gone here? Okay. It's like Hagrid's heart. I think this is. Yeah, I think that is actually a good heart eventually. Cool. I should investigate. Oh no, I'm getting distracted. I see a cave I want to explore. Or something like that. Oh. It's not a cave actually, where was it? Oh. Incendio. There must be something. Oh, no, right. Yeah, that's, it. that's not bad for now. Well, I was on my way back up here because I got distracted. Ain't good sign. Oh, we got new gear, didn't we? That's right. Let's look at the gear we got. Better than I've already got now. Like quite a lot. Destroy and destroy that. That's just a lot more better now for us. Right.
It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. I'm glad to hear it. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true. But shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Rebellion. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Oh, no. Rebellion. I never thought that much of this would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. 
Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. Has this happened before? Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? Oh, they've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him, but he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Well, now I've got a story to do, but I'll be one of sky out. And what are you saying? Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> my ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed okay. to keep you healthy and safe. I'm just going to leave for now. That will be all. Thank you for your time. Well, I'm going to go take on. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Oh. Spiders now. God. This ain't good. This ain't good at all. Rebellion. I am going to see myself seeing something stupid right now. I'm going to take on these guys. I'm going to die easily again. Past the ruins. I'm on the right track. Expelliarmus! to enter. If he doesn't come round now, he'll be made even more of an example. We'll reach. Oh, 
What are you doing? <laughs> Expelliarmus! <laughs> How many of you are there? One less piece of one. Let me know. Oh, oh, you got it! Where's he going? Oh. Let me actual death of the game they are powerful <sighs> how far am I going back that's my question how far am I going back with this checkpoint as if there's more than one way to enter. Oh. Okay, so I'm just How many of you are there? Come in here. Revelio. That was quite something. 
Now, to free Arn's cart. Quite an enchantment. The cart's returning to Arn. Revelio. Rebellion. First death, I've got some new gear again. Alright, let's have a look at the gear I've got. Go with level 12 to have that. I'm always sad to get those. But these are better, so. Get rid of them, get rid of those ones. Let's have a look at these. Oh, that's nice. Rebellion. Maybe later, but let's get these cards back. Can I not? No, okay, I can't jump on them, but I'm with them. No, 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 you come back here. Wait. Get your cart ass back here. I don't think we're out of time, have I? I think both. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Oh, there's fast travel there. So I really can't bother to run <laughs> anymore. I'm done running.
If you're here for my wares, I'm afraid... On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. It was no... It was difficult. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. That's wonderful. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. No problem. Glad I can help. Another side quest, but I've got a quest over here. They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil! Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. Students, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid. I'll have taken your life. <laughs> I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. I'm not going anywhere with you. You'll take this to the top of my dead body! You will pay for your deed. That was pretty cool. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Um, who are you? Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Who is Priya? You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical, hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. Thanks, wouldn't I? Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. So Merlin was a Slytherin then? I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. 
But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Sweet is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial yeah. has these features. Place the Mallow Sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. Curious about these pyres. Incendio! Balin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. Hardly believe it. Rebellion. Now let's go to I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return Rebellion. to the safety of my notes and books. This is special. I'm just getting more questions than answers on a lot of this. A portrait in our common room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think. Okay. Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see... I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Uh, Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Outside. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, 
I may be able to bring my father some peace. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld okay. model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day okay, will. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe okay. back. <clears throat> I do hope I'm you find the astrolabe. My question it means so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, I actually gotta go into. Oh, god, I've done it right into the lake. Okay. Yeah, how do I dive down? How am I doing this? Someone's got to be in the lid. That's for sure. This must be where the Pink Smedley family astrolabe is. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. You didn't find the dive too terribly yeah. difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! 
Did you find the astrolabe? Ah, uh, yeah. I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your calibre is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. I've done that. Check out my gear. Just got that one. There's better than nothing at least. That wasn't a coat, I found a yeah, it's done it, so but Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, it helps that channel so much and it is free to do so. That's it done, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.